Hello lovely people and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I budget my bi-weekly income to allocate each dollar ensuring nothing goes to waste. A little bit about me, I'm 21 and live in Australia. I'm a student and I also work full time and I love organising my life, financial or not. So I'm here to share this journey with you. If you like this video and want to see more, please leave a like on your way out and consider subscribing. Alright, let's get straight into it. So this is my budget. I start out just writing it all down on a plain old piece of paper. Um, so I have already written down all my costs. So I have like my rent, my car loan, groceries, just all my day to day and my long term kind of savings as well as some of my investments. So I'm going to go in now and write down each of the costs per little category so my rent is $230 a fortnight so this is all by fortnight because I do get paid bi-weekly um, so my car loan is $156 groceries $120 is what I allocate um, petrol is also $1.20 my phone bill is $78 <laughs> And then my insurance is $40 and registration $30. So these I pay yearly, but I put aside the money before that bill comes. So now onto my savings or my sinking funds. Car maintenance is getting $70. Vacation is getting $50. Debt snowball is getting $100. Date nights I put aside $20. Social gets $20 as well. Beauty is also going to get $20. And home, $40. And my emergency fund, I put aside $150 a fortnight. I also have my weekly savings challenge and that amount will vary each week. So I'm just going to note that down. Now over to my investments. So these are automatic ones that come out of my account. I have a Spaceship which receives $40 and my raise account will also be allocated $40 in the fortnight too. So those two are just some little portfolios that I kind of build over time. I also do invest in the Australian stock market. So depending on my income or extra incomes, I will put aside extra money to that um, kind of investment as well, which usually is around $100. So now that that's all done, that is just how I write it all out. Now I go and put that into a digital format that I can kind of keep track of and edit just so that I'm not wasting paper. So this is my digital budget tracker. It's my cash flow breakdown. I um, then it's everything I wrote down on the paper. It's my bills my cash envelopes, which are my day-to-day -day spending, and my sinking funds. So I'm just putting all those numbers in to the categories. So this cash flow breakdown was something I was writing on paper every fortnight before I'd get my income and just plan how I was going to spend it. So I've put it into a digital format that is really quite general. Anyone can use it. It's super simple and just keeps everything in the one place. So then I just put in my budget total there and that's it. Now I have my electronic bills um, at the beginning, my cash envelopes which are like my day-to-day -day spending as well as my sinking funds or my long-term cash savings. <laughs> Thank you.
Then at the bottom there is a place where you can put in the pay date and also the salary amount and you can see once I put that in that my salary amount is a little bit more than my actual budget so that spare money will just go to savings or an investment or something like that. Let's go. On the next page it's money movement so you have your earnings or salary, what you own being assets and O being any debts so I've got mine all written out there. It's also a spot for a monthly saving goal. And then the savings challenge, which is the 52 weeks to 2K. So this is what I'm talking about when my weekly savings would vary because each of the numbers is, you know, completely different. So that is all from me today, guys. If you are interested in grabbing this cash flow breakdown, I will have it linked down below. You can find it on my Etsy store. It's like $2. Um, and yeah, please leave a like and subscribe. And I can't wait to share more with you guys.